Today's church is Santa Balbina, named for the second century martyr of the same name, Balbina. Uh, it's located on the Aventine Hill, just across from the Baths of Caracalla. This is actually one of the first 25 titular churches of Rome. Santa Balbina is located at the end of one of Rome's silent streets. It's right across from the Baths of Caracalla, just a short walk to Circus Maximus and the Colosseum. There's a cool legend of St. Balbina that ties her to another station church we recently visited. She was the daughter of an officer in the Roman army who was in charge of watching over a few soon-to-be-executed prisoners. He mentioned to one prisoner that he'd become a Christian if he could prove the existence of an afterlife. That prisoner said the Pope would do a much better job. One morning, the Roman officer entered the prisoner's cell and found Pope Alexander in there with him. The Pope was also being held prisoner across town at the time, chained up and very well guarded. Angels had brought him here overnight. The officer decided to listen and give these crazy Christians a chance. The prisoner explained that the Pope, with the help of God, had raised his son from the dead. The officer's daughter, Balbina, was sick, and he asked the Pope if he could heal her. The Pope instructed the officer to take his daughter to find the chains that held St. Peter. Peter's martyrdom occurred just 50 or so short years earlier, and the officer knew exactly where Peter had been held. He took his daughter to find the chains, and when he found them, she reverently kissed them and was soon healed. Pope Alexander and the other prisoner were then pardoned and released. The officer, along with his wife and daughter, were baptized by the Pope. Pope Alexander built a church to celebrate the miracle of the chains and called it St. Peter in Chains. The bodies of St. Balbina and her father are located under the main altar of the church. A reliquary that once contained her head is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. 